Hello Uniplot community. Uniplot is great at handling files from various sources with various sampling frequency. But someday you might want to use it in a less permissive tool, or simply reduce the size of your file. A solution is to interpolate it to a given frequency, that is today's agenda. Before starting, let's quickly recall how Uniplot handles various sampling frequency. I will import a file. which is done based on various sampling frequency. So here, for example, 100 milliseconds and 10 milliseconds. I can check my channels here and see the number of points for all the channels. So we'll start with an example. I will plot engine SPD in a graph. Okay, I have my plot. Now let's add a pressure signal. For example, the boost pressure. It's not the same unit, so I put it in another axis. Okay, so let's load it here. And now I will auto scale the diagram. And what you can see, even though they were recorded at the same time, they don't have the same length. Why? because they don't have the same number of points. We can see that easily. So you can click on data set list and we'll configure how we see our channels and I will ask to see the markers. Okay, and close. So you can see that the number of points here is much less than here. And Uniplot takes one point one second when you use the 1D YT diagram. Now let's make another one to show you how Uniplot works. We are going to use the 2D YT diagram, which is meant for this kind of files that have the time channel included in it. So let's plot the boost pressure again in another diagram. Okay, we have it here. Oh, and now we can see that instead of 200 or maybe 10 seconds, we have just 2.2 seconds of file. Now let's look for the engine speed. I will plot it in another axis and you can now see that the length of the channel is more coherent, even though we don't have the same number of points. That was just a quick reminder of how Uniplot handled this situation. Now we want to interpolate this file because we want to use it in a tool that only supports, for example, 10 Hz frequency. I will then go to edit. I have my data browser here with all the channel and I will right click, go to more function and channel interpolation. You can see in this window that you can either choose a, an existing time channel, okay? Or you can create a new one. In you can even take a time channel from another file. In this case, I will create a new time channel. I will call it time 10 Hertz. No units. And it's going to go from zero to two seconds. As we saw before, it was the minimum and the maximum. Then, the delta will be 10 Hertz. So we're going to do it like this. That's 0 0.1 second being 10 Hertz. And I click on OK. And now Uniplot has interpolated my file. If I look for the time that I created, you can see it goes from 0 to 2 seconds by a step of 0 0.1 second. And now let's create a new page. I can now use this diagram option and let's see what happens. Okay, I have my curve. Now let's put the pressure. And now you can see that both channels have the same length. One last feature regarding the files that holds string channel. 
If I go to edit for this file, you will see a channel that contains characters. Those can be interpolated. Let's see how to do that. I right click, go to more function channel interpolation. The delta is fine, I will increase it. We have 0.1 zone here, we'll go to 0.0 or maybe 0 0.5, 0 0.2 and click on OK. And you can see that the channel has been properly interpreted. More information is available regarding string interpolation in the documentation. Drop us a mail at support at uniplot.com for feedback or questions.